Anthony Harfood was a remarkable shop in North London. Outside was a display of fruit and vegetables. Inside a variety of groceries, chocolates and alcohol. Often standing behind the counter greeting customers was a bottle blonde burger recalled by neighbors mainly for the, their striking eyebrows. But Galina Niko, Nikolova was no ordinary shop worker. She was one of the masterminds of the UK's biggest ever benefit fraud. When police raided her property, they found £750,000 in cash. To seize that much money in one day is unheard of, said Carolina Mongana, the benefits official who led the investigation into the gang. It was under a bed behind the fridge, hidden in suitcase. I have worked on some big cases, but nowhere near the scale of this. Nikolova's arrest was culmination of a two-year investigation into an organized gang by counter-fraud officials at the Department for Work and Pensions. Speaking exclusively to B, uh, BBC, DWP investigation team, Crown Prosecution Service officials described this as a most complex case. So you can imagine, this gang has been defrauding the UK system up to the extent of 750,000 pounds. So this investigation was carried out for over two years for the authorities to have enough evidence to be able to nail this gang. So this is very bad, yes. In as much as these countries or every country in the world need migrants, they need migrants that will come into their country, obey the laws and play by the laws and obey the constitution not migrants that will come into their country they don't want to contribute to their country the only thing they are after is to be taken out of the country or be looting the country or be committing different types of fraud this is unheard of in the history of such investigations and at this point in time in which we know that a whole lot of these co countries are having elections this year and immigration is one of the hottest topic in the agenda of this most country. This is the kind of news that justified, justifies what some of the nationalist people are saying, of which to some extent they have a point. Because if you're coming to my country, you should be able to abide by the rules and regulation, respect and obey the constitution and adapt yourself into my country's culture. I'm not trying to force your own culture into my country. Yes, I, this is the way it's supposed to be in a normal norm.